It was so sudden. My Such name is shock. Randy, and I love cars, oh, I know baseball I know. stuff, and especially happy men in underpants. Just leave it all to me. Hold on a sec, Lisa. Arnold, keep it down, honey bun. Sorry, Lisa. When I asked my mom the reason I love these things, she hit me back with a roast chicken and asked if I was a pinky bear. Don't forget to eat your candy, steady bear. You don't be like your fat ass daddy now, do you? Okay, I'm back. Get off, mom. If you want to help, you can just write the guest list. Mom. <laughs> Perfect. Mom. I don't want to be a pinky bear. So after that, I never asked anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Who, Patty? I still don't see why she has to come. She's just a fatso with a stupid fish husband. <laughs> you bet. He's just a big fish in a small pond. Oh, hold on, Lisa. Arnold! Keep it down, sugar pie. I can hardly hear myself think. Arnold! Arnold! What? Come here, love. Show me some love, sweetie. What are you looking at, bubblehead? Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's because she's from Desperateville. I think the reason why these men keep smiling is because they can go around with their silly underpants and nobody says a word. I guess I would be happy too. Randy! Randy, my dear. You know what happened to Lisa's husband last week, right? And you're aware of how much love I have for her, right? Hang on. This is a chance for mommy, you, Arnold, everyone to celebrate and show our support for her. Now. I want you to take these candies to make you strong and handsome, just the way Mommy loves you.
because you know Mama loves you, Teddy Bear. You know that, right? Mom once said that you have to cut your teeth on something if you want to hit the jackpot. Loretta, a good friend of Mommy's. Hello. Look at you. You are a big boy. <laughs> He's Mommy's little teddy bear, isn't he? I'm getting old too, my dear. No, Patty. You look exactly like you did 20 years ago. Yeah. I hope I didn't look like this fat sea bass back then. Right? You know, Randy, your mom, she used to love me years ago. I have never been that happy. When my first husband died, she was really sweet to me. But they said there were plenty more fish in the sea, and that's what I did. I married a fish. You know, Randy, since then... I'm dying.
Nice chat, little man, but I've got a bigger fish to fry tonight. You'll see. I wonder if the Tooth Fairy will accept a different payment. I remember meeting Lisa and her husband at a baseball game a couple of years ago. <laughs> I was just two seats down and he had hot dogs everywhere and sauce dripping and all and he was <laughs> sweating like a turkey in Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and then BAM! Home run! The ball flew over us like a damn rocket ship. He jumped to catch the ball and went rolling down the Tribune. <laughs> Do you remember that, Lisa? The bone popped out of his leg. <laughs> and it was that moment, that very moment, that Lisa got a huge grin on her face. Her eyes lit up. And that's exactly when I knew that it was gonna be different. That that day, fast, like a damn ball, <laughs> this beautiful moment would come. <laughs> and that's why I would like to pay my own personal homage to the fabulous brand new widow, Lisa. <laughs> Maybe those men actually hate wearing their silly underpants. I mean, look at my brother. But sometimes we have to compromise if we want to be happy. Sometimes we have to fight for a chance to fit in. Even if this means telling fish stories. You're such a doll, Patty. And I guess Mom was right when she hit me with the roast chicken. Because in our own way, we all want to be happy men in underpants.